Hello, you guys. Blake, 50 freaking 8. Let's see how this goes. As usual, I will not be having sound besides me running my damn mouth. Let's see. Liam's point of view. Oh, hell. Two days ago. Why did they let him leave with her? What? What are they waiting for? Um, they have followed him. Um, please calm down. They know what they're doing. Do they really? That's what you think. Um, they're incompetent people. I need to find her myself. You're not going anywhere. Trust me, they know who I am and they know what if they know that if they don't bring my daughter my bring my bring back my daughter safe <laughs> safe and sound, I will destroy them. So I let them do their job. They trace the car. Um they know where they are. They're just waiting for the right time to catch them. William. My son is in surgery right now because of him. And I'm scared as, and I'm as scared as you are, but there's nothing we can do but wait. Damn ugly as a motherfucker. How your damn boyfriend look older than your fucking father? Ugh, Mr. Miller, what's, what's say? The son is out of surgery. How is he? Is he stable? The bullet didn't touch, oh wait, he's stable. The bullet didn't touch any vital organs. He should wake up soon. Thank God. What about the other students? That guy went on a rampage. We had 10 deaths for now and several injured. Damn. This is terrible. Yeah, it is. And I hope Blake is fine. I hope so too. You can go home. Your son won't wake up bef before a few hours. I'll call you if there's anything though. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. We can stay together. What do you think? It's better than wait alone. Whatever. Oh. What the fuck is this shit? Bruh. I looked around me and uh, the house was so quiet. It was so empty without her. Oh. You know when she visited the house, I wasn't even here. There. She was so ecstatic about it and I wasn't even there. Then I told her to buy it because I knew I would love it. And now it's empty. I sat and sat on the couch, my face in my hands. It's fucking empty. <laughs> She'll come back. You have to remain hopeful. Do you really care about her? Or is it just an act? I care she's my daughter. Oh, well, she's always. <laughs> she always was, but you didn't seem to give a fuck about her when she lived uh, with those monsters. When that bastard vitamin took her virginity. Oh, damn. I grabbed him by the collar and I shoved him against the wall. I don't know what's stopping me from killing you right now. <sighs> don't worry about that. <sighs> Liam, please. I know you're angry, but Blake forgave me. She forgave me, Liam. I stared at him with the hatred, with hatred in the eyes, in the eyes for a long moment. And then I dropped him. She's too nice sometimes. I know you have all the reasons to hate me, and trust me, I hate myself too. I think about it every single day. I know I'm responsible for everything that happened to her. Trust me, I know that. If I could turn back time, I would change everything. I would show up at their door and I would take her away from them. But I can't do that, Liam. I can't. All I can do is try to make amends to her. And to you, I guess. Huh? You know, when you uh, were gone, Blake and I talked a lot, and she told me how important you were to her, where well, you are to her. She told me that she would probably be dead without you. You saved my daughter, and I will always be thankful to you. 
I know you have every right to hate me, but I hope you can try to uh try to get along with me or Blake. For that, you'll have to prove <laughs> prove me first. Prove to me first that you are that you really care about her. I'm not like her. I don't trust people so easily. Look where it led her today. I understand, but I'll keep trying. I'm here in the kitchen trying to make Blake's breakfast. She slept for almost two days. She was exhausted. I was so relieved when I saw her at the hospital. She was fine. My son was fine. If she hadn't killed that son of a bitch, I swear I would do it myself. She told me he forced her to walk for hours, never letting her take any break. He killed people in front of her. He wanted to force her to follow him and raise my son as his own child. My blood was literally boiling while she was telling me everything. That guy was insane and I told her multiple times I didn't trust him. But as usual, she didn't listen to me. She wanted to help him, to give him a chance. But I'm not mad at her. I just, I wait, I know it's just the way she is. She's always nice and caring and I love her for that. That's why I've, I was more than surprised when she told me she didn't regret killing them. She told me she didn't feel guilty that she had, that he had what he deserved. I know it's the truth. Someone had to kill that son of a bitch, but damn, I didn't expect this from Blake. The bitch, Blake is different. She killed someone and I, and she seems okay with it. Not like her. Uh, I think it's ready. Back to Blake's point of view, y'all. Hey, Princess. I woke up and saw Liam sitting next to me holding a tray of pancakes. I thought you would be hungry after almost two days of sleeping. You did this? I said in shock. Liam never cooks. <laughs> yeah. How, do you, how did you do? Don't tell me you did this alone. Okay, I plead guilty. I called my mother and she helped me. Well, thank you, Liam. That's nice of you. Two days later. She's still in the bed, bitch. Fifteen deaths. That's the final number of Gene's victims. According to the TV news, he started his killing spree in the football with the football team. They were on the football field when he started shooting. Some of them had uh, enough time to leave, but others didn't have that chance. He made his way to the hall and killed many people on his way before finding us in the science class. They called him a mentally deranged person, a madman. But deep down, I think we all know that there's more to that. Well, there's more than that to the story. The people he killed, they made his life a living hell. They bullied him every day. Um, they made fun of him. They threw him in the trash in front of people. Wait, in front of everyone. He didn't randomly select them. No, he knew exactly who he wanted to kill. The people who made him suffer. But even though they were awful to him, none of them deserved to die so suddenly. So young. Mm. I believe that people can change. They all could uh, have become better. If only he would have let them, um, let them a chance to do so. Bitch, they weren't going to change for him. I still don't know if it was premeditated. I don't think so. I think throwing him in the trash was the final straw that made him go crazy. And starting from that moment... The sweet gene that I knew was gone. I don't think he had planned on taking me away with him, but that's what he did. And I had to defend myself. I had to protect my baby. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. And when he shot that poor innocent guy in the head, I knew that he was willing to do anything he would have to wait he would to have what he wanted. 
Um, I knew for sure that it wasn't the gene that I knew who was standing in front of me. And the pity that I once felt for him disappeared. He had no right to take so many innocent lives, even though he was mad and heartbroken. I had to go away, no matter what. Oh, and I must say that I didn't feel any remorse when I pulled the trigger. I felt like I was doing the right thing, like I was avenging them all. For once in my life, I felt strong. Strong and brave. Blake, you're awake? Yeah, someone's here for you. Huh. You have to get out of bed to know it. Fine, I'm coming. Hey. Show me in. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. How are you? I've heard what happened with that guy. I'm fine. It's over now. I'm happy to hear that. I was really scared you would know. But I'm glad you're okay. Did you go back to school? No. I think no one did. Even prom was canceled. No one has the heart to go back there. Yeah, I understand. So, when will we finally be able to see your baby boy? Not for seven weeks. This baby is safe. Is in a safe place right now. Shit. So, what's up? It's been a while since the last time we saw each other. Actually, many things happen. That's also why I'm here. Excuse me. I knew she was going to say this stupid shit. Aldo and I are getting married. What? In four days. What? But you two just got together. Don't you think it's too soon? No, it's not. As you probably know, Aldo is now the leader of the gang. And now that they bought down Pablo's uh, gang members, he took over his business and he's now the head of one of the biggest gangs in the country. And he's going to expand his, ter his territory soon. That's why he thought we could get married now while things are under control. You know, he'll soon, uh, he will soon want to have an heir. <laughs> and he thinks I'm the perfect girl for him. I'm sexy, beautiful, and I'm a badass. But marriage is supposed to be about love. I know you would say that. Of course it is for people like you. But me, I will never have the perfect life and the perfect husband. I know that. Aldo knows all my flaws. He knows my past and he still wants me. Do you know how much that means to me? He bought a huge house. We're no longer living in the trailers. I feel good with him. Come on, I'm sure everyone... Wait, I'm sure someone can love you for who you are, Joanne. No, trust me, no one would. When we had that fight a few months ago, I got pregnant. And I didn't even know who the father... Wait, who was the father, Blake? I slept with so many guys that I can't tell who was the father of that child. Damn. Okay, wait a minute, no. That hasn't happened in a long time. Oh, you muted it. Mute. Smart baby. Look, you're lucky to have Liam, really. Um, You've changed him and that's great. No one would have thought that he would fall in love with someone. But don't think it's the same for everyone because it's not. <sighs> Girls like me have to survive. And I like Aldo. I enjoy his presence. He's he's hot and he doesn't care about my past. And he's powerful. So yes, I want to marry him. That way I'll have a husband. I mean, a handsome husband. Excuse me, you guys. And be rich. And I'll be rich. And I'll be treated like a queen. That's what I deserve and that's what I want. Well, I didn't expect this. I know, and that's why it took me 
so much time to tell you everything because I don't want to disappoint you. I really want you to be there at my wedding. And I know that you probably wouldn't understand my choice. It doesn't matter if I understand or not. I will always support you. And if that's what you want, then I'll be there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But have you talked about that to Liam? Because I don't know if he will want me to be there, you know, with all those gang members. And, um, of course I talked to him. He knows for days. I just wanted to be the one to tell you the news. Just please try not to give birth at my wedding. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> After Joanne left, I asked Liam to drive me to the hospital to see Tom. He seemed fine. Doctor said he would leave the hospital soon. <sighs> I was so relieved to hear that. I was like, bitch, do you change? So, you know about Joanne and Aldo? Yeah. Feel bad for her. Don't. That's what she wants. I don't understand why. Aldo will protect her. She will be rich and found a powerful family. Yeah, she'll give birth to some poor children who who will grow up in... <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. She will give birth to some poor children who will grow up in the middle of violence and illegal activities. What a bright future. Hell no. That's how things work, Blake. She knows that. Aldo will need an heir soon. And Joanne is the perfect girl for that. She knows how business works. She'll be she will not annoy him constantly and she's beautiful. Sigh. <laughs> I just wish she had what we have. That's not what she was what she's looking for. Blake, you got the fucking nerve, bitch. Um, do you regret do you sometimes regret not being in his place? Nope. I want to have a normal life with you. I don't want you to be in danger. And I don't want our son to be um, the next head of the mafia. And I took that. Took what I. Wait. And I took what was mine before leaving. A little bonus for everything I did. And for this fucking game. But we're rich, Liam. <laughs> we're not at that. We, we were not at that time. And there are things that I can't buy with your, oh, with your own money. What's that supposed to mean? You'll know in due time. Oh, he's gonna propose to her. Why did you say yes? I thought you didn't want me to hear. Uh, oh, want me near those guys. Because it's your best friend's wedding, and the area will be secure. I don't know how to make things right. It's his wedding we're talking about. And I'll be there with you. Nothing will happen to you. Tomorrow we'll go shopping to find you some beautiful clothes for the wedding. What do you think? Yeah, but I doubt I'll find something pretty. Do I need to remind you that I'm pregnant? Tess, you'll always be beautiful no matter what, you're, what, no matter what you wear. And you're still very attractive. Trust me. Mm, look at this, Liam. You got a new motherfucking leather jacket, baby. The next day. Come on, show me. I'm ugly and fat. Mm. No, you're not. I like it. You're beautiful. I don't think so. Come on, show me the other ones. Hell no. To a fucking banana. A half rotted banana. I like this one. Liam, you ain't got no fucking taste. Come on, don't make that face. Easy for you. You're not the one who looks like an elephant. But fucking rotten bananas, what you look like, Blake. You crazy, Blake. You're not fat. You're only, uh, only your belly got bigger and that's normal. Yeah, maybe. Trust me, you're still hot. Honey, when you that damn big, when you pregnant, oh my God, you feel like a fucking... 
elephant, yep. Elephant, whale, fucking hippopotamus. You feel like the biggest fucking thing in America. It's so uncomfortable. Now, show me the last one. Please come out with something better than what you... Okay, I love when you wear pink. What do you think? We're going to go with the gray one because the first one. Gray, go get changed while I pay for it. Because this shit right here ugly and that banana shit wasn't stressed. Was, oh, Jesus Christ. Shit wasn't right at all. A little later. I'm okay. The doctor said I'll be able to go back home in a few days. I'm so relieved to hear that. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry I wasn't able to protect you. I'll get your life. Don't say that. You did what you could. Did he hurt you? Yeah, he. I'm fine, Tom. He had what he deserved. So he hurt you. He was crazy, but I made it. I escaped. And I'm glad that you're fine, too. Unfortunately, that's not the case for everyone. Yeah, I know. I'm happy that you, Jen, and Mel are fine. Mel, what happened to her during the attack? She was one of the first persons to escape and get out of the school. As soon as she heard the gunshot, she ran and she left. Great, I'm happy to hear that. I should go back home now. I'm feeling tired. Of course, take care of, of you, Blake. You too. Bye, Tom. Bye, sis. And so the wedding day arrived quickly. Do we have to do all of this like today? Shit. Are you ready, princess? Do you match? Let's go. Let's go. And it was breathtaking. Oh, look. Okay, Eldo. They ran to a magnificent place. I was speechless. Yes. Yes! So, you better slay for the gods, honey. And the ceremony was beautiful. Yes, fuck the ceremony. Look at your aunt's fucking dress, baby. <laughs> I thought I wish you to do something with that hair, but baby, yes. Even though it was not a love marriage, Joanne looked happy and Aldo, well, he looked proud. Mm, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, you may now kiss the bride in this purple. And first of all, look at the back of his leg. Why is his pants cut up and shit in the back? Oh, this is so cute. After that, the party started and everyone seemed to have fun. The ambiance was kind of scary, though. There were men everywhere, and, all you, and you can tell they were armed. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just thinking. I can tell you're tense. You have nothing to worry about, Blake. And who the hell are you? Hey, Liam, it's been a while. Yeah. I could recognize that man. He was there when I got kidnapped after the party. Yeah, mm -hmm, he sure was. Halloween party. He was one of them. Mm -hmm, he tried to wake you. He looked at me up and down. And before looking at Liam, I can see that you did a great job with her. He said while looking at my belly. I thought she was... uh. Just a random girl. She's not. They were talking about me as if I wasn't next to them. If I wasn't even next to them. Is it a sign? Yeah. Lucky you. Girls are useless. He then raised his hand to touch my belly. And Liam suddenly grabs his hand before he could touch me. No one touches her except for me. Don't forget who I am. And don't make me regret not killing you when I had the chance. He said before letting go of his hand. And at that moment, I didn't know if they were about to fight or if things were okay. I had never seen Liam act this way. It's okay. I didn't want to upset you. Have a great night. I could feel Liam was very respected. I don't know everything he did while he was still in the game. And I had to admit that I really don't want to know. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I just don't like to be near all those men. Hey, you. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Joanne, girl, you're really happy, girl. <laughs> I'm going to let you two alone. I need to congratulate y'all, though, and I'll be back. Wow, Joanne, you are very beautiful. And all right. <laughs> <laughs> and the place is outstanding. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm happy for you, Joanne. Now I need to drink. Everyone is talking me to four hours talking to me for hours. Do you want one? Oh god, I'm stupid. Sorry about that. Well we'll celebrate together when the baby will be born. Yeah, definitely that's a great idea. Well that's a good idea. Oh shit, where's Liam? She left you by yourself. Great, now I'm all alone in the middle of hundreds of murderers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, here go this bitch. Well, well. Hello, Blake. She said while blowing smoke in my face, and I done blew that bitch shit out. See, Blake. Blake, turn up. You're pregnant. What is what is wrong with you, girl? Where's our dear Liam? Since when is it your business? Mm. Eventually, he get bored, and that day. There will be many girls ready to comfort him. Trust me. I mean, look at you. You're fat and ugly. <laughs> Who want to bang you? Slap that bitch. Bow. Fuck you mean. Don't, don't you dare talk to me like that. I'm going to make sure you grab what you did. She just, what she said while raising her hand. And then Liam appeared and grabbed it before she could touch me. What do you think you're doing? She started everything. Get the hell out of my sight before I lose my temper. Are you okay? I just don't feel comfortable here. It's not my world. I know. Come with me. I want to show you something. Don't ask. Just come with me. He grabbed my hand and made me follow him. I'm glad I got to slap the fucking piss out that bitch. <laughs> Fuck, she thought this was, y'all. <laughs> Come here. He's gonna propose to her. It's so beautiful. I know, right? Why are you staring at me like that? Because you're beautiful, and I love you. And I want to live the rest of my life with you. I know it. Blake, he said, while well, taking a little box of his jacket. <laughs> Inside of it was the most beautiful ring I've ever seen, honey. I can't imagine my life without you. You're the love of my life. Until you're going to be the mother of my son. Aww. I want to wake up every day next to you. And I want to fall asleep every night holding you, holding you in my arms. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> I want you to be mine forever. Forever. Um, will you make me the... Mm, will you make me the honor of being my wife? Would, would you give me the honor of being my wife? Oh, bitch, I don't know, y'all. I don't know who's making this shit up. Will you marry me, Blake Turner? Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ. He took my hand, gently put the ring on my finger. Last time we got to see the ring. Oh, Liam, can we see this ring? I love you with all my heart. First of all, we got to see that fucking raggedy ass promise ring. So why can't we see this ring? I love you more than anything. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's some fancy new move they got right there, baby. So it is. <laughs> so this is it. Liam finally proposed. Hope you like this chapter. I'm going on a vacation, so I won't be able to write a lot for the next week. And I don't know when the next chapter will be out. That's why I managed to give you this chapter before leaving. So please be patient. I will definitely continue the story. To be content. Hope you guys enjoyed. Especially that little squat food they did at the end. Woo -woo. That was a new move, baby. They didn't upgrade it. This shit. Okay, you guys, hope you enjoyed. Love you guys. Comment. I'll comment back as usual. I don't know what the next video I'm going to do is. 
Oh, just wait for it. All right.